The image of St. John Climacus in his work, The Ladder of Divine Ascent, is a classic way of thinking of our Christian journey. We are ascending a ladder towards heaven. And the image of the ladder has uh, deep uh, roots in scripture. We think of Jacob's dream and how he saw at Bethel the angels going up and down on a ladder that led from earth to heaven. But I think we ought to balance that by other images. Often in our human life we do not seem to be going just in a straight line. We often have a feeling that we are coming back to where we were before. But I hope that our experience is though we have in a sense returned to our past, that we've come back at a higher level. So as well as the ladder going straight to heaven, I would like to think of the spiral going round and round and returning. We often return to our early experiences, but returning so we may trust on a higher level. So yes, there is another image of ascent, but a slightly different one from the straight line. And perhaps we also need to think of our journey as going always deeper and deeper, not just ascent on a ladder, but also going ever deeper into the mystery of life in Christ. So along with images of height, we may like to use images of depth and they don't contradict one another, they, they confirm each other. You suggested in what you said that the ascent on the ladder never has an end. Well, in fact, John Climacus thinks of the ladder as having uh, 30 rungs, but there are various Christian writers who would agree that our journey is unending. Even in the age to come, we keep moving, we keep advancing further. God is infinite and so we never come to the end of our journey. So I liked your suggestion that the ladder might go on endlessly in heaven as well. Saint Irenaeus says at one point, even in the age to come, God will ha still have new things to teach us and we shall have new things to learn. So we shall never be able to say to God, you are repeating yourself, we have heard it all before. God will continue to be a God of surprises. So I like to think in that way that salvation is an unending journey. When I was a child I was given a book about Felix the cat and Felix was given uh, a pair of special boots which helped him to walk and the great theme of the book was Felix, he kept walking, he kept walking on. And that I think applies to salvation. We should be like Felix the cat. Uh, we can't just say I am saved in this life. We say I am being saved by God's grace and mercy, so I trust. But in the age to come, even though there, yes, we are among the saved, we can still say there is more to come. We are only just at the beginning.